Hey, I'm actually sitting here in Nathan East studio. And Welcome. Thank Good you. to have you, always. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and by the look of all the shining records, you've been doing well the last couple of... You know, it's been busy. It's been busy. Yeah. These are actually, yeah, these these are actually, some of these are from the 80s, so <laughs> just goes to show how long we've been doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, this weekend there has been Bass Play Alive. Yes. 2015, and you got the Lifetime Achievement Award. I can't believe it. Yeah. It's, it's an honor. It's yeah. really a big honor to get that after, um, you know, so many players that I look up to and, and respect and appreciate. So I, you know, when they said I was receiving it, I was very humbled and honored. Mm. Yeah. So obviously you have achieved a lot. <laughs> so how, how do you keep yourself moving towards new goals and, and staying fresh? Yes, I mean, every, every day, you know, I look up and just try to see what's going on out there. And, and I've been very fortunate with the calls that come in and at the time they come in and and nobody knows quite how that works it just you know how do you wake up and then you know Daft Punk calls you to play get lucky you know yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. so it's <clears throat> been a series of events like that and I'm just forever grateful every time you know the phone rings and for all the opportunities that I've had I mean there have been a lot I just played at the White House yeah you know a couple times this year already I've uh, toured over Europe now, uh, just in the last few weeks, and then uh, Asia. I've been been to Japan, you know, four times already this year. So it's uh, it's it's a an amazing life and living the dream just as a result of uh, playing this playing this instrument here. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> very, very. Yeah. No, I feel fortunate. Yeah, I do understand that. <laughs> uh, well, how do you see yourself um, as a bass player? Oh man. I don't really even see myself as a bass player. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, I, no, I mean, I do, you know, I spend most of my time with this either over my shoulder or in my hands, you know, traveling to and from either studios or countries near and far or, or cities. And, and you know, I, I spend most of the time kind of keeping my eyes open and, and looking at um, what's going on. You know, we were just in Zurich and we heard uh, Marcus Miller's band. We played the same oh, yeah. same festival, and so you know, I'm, I'm always surprised. And I just uh, played, you know, with Esperanza, and it's I'm looking around, thinking, wow, you know, these guys are just inspiring me. You know? Yeah. And um, I just saw Chuck Rainey last night, my my bass hero, my mentor, guru mm -hmm. at the uh, Bass Player Live, and and you know, he's one of the guys that. I just used to buy records only because his name was on it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it didn't matter who the artist was. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, when I, I really am always looking, you know, toward the outside, so I don't really look at myself as anything but like a student of, of life, <laughs> you know, <laughs> pretty much. And, and, and it's fun and, and very fortunate. And yeah, as, as a bass player now, I, I do realize that, you know, there's a responsibility to completely you know, play some good low notes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> play them in time and in in, in, a, in the pocket and the groove and and you know, simple as that. What do you think is the most important thing uh, for you when you're on tour? Oh man, on tour where there's a lot of things going on now. You know, just got to keep your energy up because it's um, it's pretty demanding schedule wise. You mm -hmm. know, so um, on tour I try to keep everything in perspective, you know, health, of course, the music, you know, so if I have time to practice, you know, we sound check. Um, and then, you know, I try to get either a bike ride or a swim or something in that's going to just keep me, keep my energy up. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the the most important time is the two hours that you're on stage uh, in front of the audience, you know, that's when you just completely uh, forget about everything else and give everything that you have, you know, it's almost like, like an athlete, you know, just... Yeah play as hard as you can and, and uh, you know, from the heart and see if you can get it done. Yeah. You, last year, is it last year you released the solo, solo album or is it two years? I can't it remember. was 2014. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, how has this 
been for you uh, doing your first solo album in your own name? And well, it's been you know after you've been in the business for 35 years, you know yeah. there aren't very many firsts. You know, a lot of times you're going back and re-recording with with some you know somebody or so to have a first like that and to um, release my own album was was just an ex exciting. It was probably the most exciting year I've had you know since I started playing. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean because. Just the freshness of, of something that I can call my own and mm. doing a, tours all over the country and all over the world, actually, you know, yeah. to, to get the word out. So it was, it was most enjoyable. Is there something that it will be continuing? Absolutely. We're, we're going in to start the new record at the beginning of the year. So um, we're going to continue. And they've uh, we've done a, a second record with... Uh, it's a duo album with me and Bob James. Oh. Yeah, and um, it's called The New Cool. And it's it's just great to have a label that really cares about music, the the primary thing, you know. Mm. They don't, um, and they you know they do videos and, and lots of extra things, other other than just recording yeah. the record. Yeah. So uh, it's very exciting for me at, at this time in my life when you know I've, I've been to Japan. This will be my 74th visit, <laughs> just in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and around the world many many times. Um, it's nice to have something fresh like this to, uh, to sink my teeth into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you for letting me come into this well wonderful place. And can I just say how much I love this amplifier? You know, I, I uh, we were over there and I went to the TC factory mm -hmm. in um, Denmark, which was very impressive. <laughs> and uh, thank you. I didn't I didn't know what to expect, but uh, there were just a bunch of geniuses walking around there. <laughs> And uh, <coughs> the uh, BH-800 is just rocking my world. I mean, we, we set it up here in my studio, and, and uh, can you just leave it, as a matter of fact? <laughs> <laughs> can I can leave, leave the something out. <laughs> yeah. But it, it sounds yeah. amazing, and, and I love all your products. You know, we, we're with the Spectre comp Compressor today, and, and uh, I'm a big looper user uh, on all my gigs, and... Uh, it's just every everything about it. And for years, uh, the companies uh, just produced some of the greatest, uh, greatest things. Polytuner, this this little guy is amazing. It's a, it's just my new favorite clip-on tuner, you know, because I love the fact that you can just you can pop it on there and then you know have a nice bird's eye view. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are amazing. I mean, after. After a couple of beers, it's amazing what you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> it helps. Sure. Yeah. So thanks again, and uh, you're always welcome here in the studio whenever you're in town as well. Yeah.